Now, uh, let's keep money on our minds because Brixton is set to become the third place in the country to introduce a new currency. The Brixton Pound is designed to boost spending in the area and Andrew Cryan has been taking a look. Brixton in South London. I am the way and the truth. Famous for its street life, its nightlife and all too often its crime. Soon though, it might be known for something else too. September will see the launch of the Brixton Pound. It's the first place in London to have its own local currency, which is effectively a bit like a gift voucher. So you'll buy your Brixton quids from certain outlets and then you can use them in local independent shops. They'll then give them out as change and circulate all around the area, meaning in the future these things might be less necessary. At least one of the notes should, should be a scene with... The scheme is being launched by local charities and the team behind it are currently working out the design. The community is going to benefit because the money is going to stay within the community. Uh, members of Brixton will be able to spend this money locally and they'll know where their money is going and it will also kind of um, give them a, an understanding of what's out there rather than the uh, typical shopping that they possibly do at the big chain stores. And I guess on a broader scale, if people start using this Brixton Pound to source locally, then it's going to also cut back on uh, carbon output uh, environmentally. But in some of Brixton's local independent shops, the idea got a mixed reaction. It's pegged to the value of the pound sterling and so it's no different in that respect and so there is no point in having a duplicate currency. It's a good idea, it's a quite good idea in the Brixton people for the, in the, in the local, in the Brixton. Somebody spends the money in Brixton as opposed to Kennington or Streatham then you just take money away from Streatham or Kennington, you know, so it's not actually creating any more wealth. Until it launches, it's very hard to say whether the scheme will work, but we might be able to get an idea from a very unlikely place. Lewis in Sussex doesn't have a lot in common with Brixton. Known instead for its beauty, its hippies and burning an effigy of the Pope on bonfire night, last year it also introduced its own one Lewis Pound note. I think people go out with their Lewis Pounds and they think, right, I'm going to spend locally. I mean, some people at Christmas and I'm going to get all my presents with Lewis Pounds. We have our diehards that buy everything in the Lewis Pound. You know, but we have a few people that won't shop. If they can't get it with the Lewis Pounds, they don't get it. But not everyone's so fanatical. Well, we would be back in the, in the Middle Ages, where, where different regions had their different uh, currency. And this means very, very high transaction costs for everybody. And everybody will lose out at the end of the day. But do you think it might work somewhere like Lewis better uh, than in Brixton, where uh, you know we're surrounded by fields, there's local agriculture, people make things more, rather than right in the middle of the inner city where there's not, not so much local produce. Yeah. Absolutely, I think, I think there is, uh, this is a good point and also because uh, Lewis is a quite tight uh, community and people, at least for some, for some time, will just uh, like to support their, their local business. But they could have done that with Sterling as well. They, they don't need an, an, an extra an additional uh, currency. The Lewis Pound does seem to be proving popular and last week they started issuing higher denominations. So you've now got a 5, 10 and even this, the rather bizarre 21 pound note. But Lewis, of course, is just a small little town. Whether the scheme will work in the middle of inner city Brixton is a different thing altogether. Andrew Cryan reporting there. Well, joining me here now, Josh Ryan Collins, who's one of the people behind the Brixton Pound, and Paul Lewis from BBC Radio 4's uh, Moneybox programme. Welcome to you both. Uh, Josh, uh, what prompted this first? Uh, first of all, why is this currency needed? What was the thinking behind it? Well, um, small independent shops in Brixton are in trouble. Um, uh, obviously, there's the, the credit crunch, which means they're having trouble getting access to finance. Um, but also uh, rents in Brixton are extremely high. There's extraordinarily strong competition from the big chains, Tesco's and, and other big supermarkets. And there's a sense amongst people in Brixton that they need to do more to support local businesses. And, and has that trend been, say, moving towards the Tesco's and the big superstores uh, in the area or just, you know, just outside Brixton? Has that been getting worse? Absolutely it has, yeah. I mean, um, just a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, one of the last independent shops actually on Brixton High Street, Red's Records, which was very popular with local people, uh, closed down. Um, the rents have been going up. Uh, we've got absentee landlords who, who don't know 
um, who don't really care about local independent businesses. And people in Brixton want to keep Brixton diverse and unique. That's what makes it a special So place. in essence, and perhaps you won't disagree with this, it is a kind of, this is a marketing strategy. I mean, it's not a gimmick. I'm not going to use that. I'm not using that in a pejorative way. It's a marketing strategy to try and to boost the independent sector in Brixton. I think it's a way of, of raising awareness amongst Brixton and, and South London and Lambeth residents uh, that there are all these um, very interesting, um, wonderful little shops um, you know, hidden away some, sometimes that people don't know about, so that it'll help them with their marketing. But it's also a way, I, I suppose, of raising awareness about how the way you spend money can actually have a direct influence on what your town centre looks like. And Paul, do you, listening to that, do you think, what do you think of that when you, when you see that that's what the intention is? Well, it, it's hard to be against it, isn't it? It's yeah. hard to be against supporting local businesses, and we have these complaints throughout the country, don't we? You can go to any town in Britain and you see the same boring yeah. old chain stores in the high street. So it's hard to be against, but I'm I'm not convinced that this is really going to do very much for the economy. I mean, I think they're printing, what, £40,000 in notes. That's, right, yeah. That's not going to save a major shop on the high street from not being able to pay its rent. And, and if, small denominations, it's just small sums. Well, that's so that you can give it in change, and so mm. it will circulate, I think. But, you know, if Brixton people really want the local shops to stay, they should be shopping in them anyway, and I think there are other ways than this. I think the key to it will be if you get lower prices, if there's a 5% discount whenever you use your Brixton pound, I think that will encourage people. But simply having the notes, I'm not convinced, and I'm not convinced even from Lewis, which is a very different place than Tottenham. Well, I was going to ask you about that, uh, Lewis, um, uh, uh, Mr Lewis. Um, <laughs> what, 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 no how, relation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, how has that uh, gone down? Has it worked? Well, I mean, they seem to have relaunched a bit here, which implies, does that imply that the, the, the original effect was uh, fading, uh, or has it proved more successful than anticipated? No, I don't think it was fading. I think it's relaunched because they wanted higher denomination notes, and you saw that £21 pound note. 5% of all the money that's spent in notes is actually going into a, a community project in Lewis called Lewis Live, which is a good idea. And I think these things are good ideas, but how much they boost local business and whether the quantity of money circulating will really help, I just don't know. With uh, the, the first indications, only a small uptake of this in Brixton, that makes it less likely it's going to work, isn't it? Well, I don't think that's quite correct. I mean, uh, 40 businesses have already signed up to accept the Lewis Pound and that's uh, the Brixton Pound. That's growing fast. Uh, yeah, God's sake, don't, don't introduce the Lewis Pound there as well. <laughs> That'll get very confusing. Um, and um, uh, uh, I mean, just, just, just a few points. I mean, we are introducing higher denominations uh, immediately, 1, 5, 10, 20s. Um, so um, um, the, the, the overall economic impact won't be enormous. It won't change things overnight, that's true. But I think it does give the... Um, it's a good starting point for how we might start to rethink the councils involved, for example, right. in Brixton. They're very interested, very supportive. Uh, what, about, what about that, the spanking Tesco superstore on Acre Lane there? Have they welcomed this with open arms? We'll do that. If you got the backing from them, it would work, wouldn't it? Uh, at the moment, we're, we're holding this currency for independent businesses. Okay. It, it's for independents. Um, Tesco's... Um, uh, uh, one of the reasons that independent grocers and the like are, are really struggling and having to close down in Brixton because of their very aggressive com competitive behaviour. Um, this is really about supporting those, those kind of businesses. And, and, and we, the local produce argument we heard yeah. there, well, we, you know, Brixton not famed for its, famed for its market, but not for its local produce. Yeah. So how well, do there's, there's a growing uh, local food um, movement in Brixton. We've got some allotments um, uh, and there's a, there's a farmer's market actually starting um, in September as well. So th there is um, that, that aspect. There's bakers who provide food to, to local restaurants. Um, do you so think, think that could be, Paul, do you think that can work? Uh, that's a genuine, uh, you know, workable... Uh, again, I think it. it's, very, it's too small scale, but I do think that if people have got this currency in their pocket or their purse, it's a constant reminder, isn't it? They've got, oh, they think, I'll just go and spend that locally. So it might boost business to a certain extent. But don't forget the shopkeepers have got to do twice the bookkeeping. They can't pay the Brixton pounds into the bank. They've got to keep them somewhere, give them out in change, and then maybe go and exchange them. And if you think 40 businesses signed up, 40,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds, each circulating it's not really going to do that much but psychologically yes psychologically a very good and idea. I don't think anyone would disagree that Brixton would probably do with um, that kind of boost and, um, and I'll tell you what we'll keep an eye on it and um, come back and see you in six months time or whatever thanks very much indeed to both of you coming